So, <laughs> picture this, okay? You are on top of the world. You are one of the biggest companies in the world. You have a market cap of over a trillion dollars on the stock market, okay? You're practically unstoppable until one day, unexpectedly, shit hits the fan. Now tell me, <laughs> tell me, is it an enemy mega corporation trying to take you down by hacking your internal database? An overseas government afraid of how much influence you have on the world trying to take control back from you? Hell, is it extraterrestrials trying to take control of human society attacking you directly for access? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's a bunch of teenagers who are pissed that they didn't get enough twinkle tits for their mobile game, okay? That's it. That's what took you down. And what, you know what the best part about this is? You weren't even the main target. <laughs> you were, you were just collateral damage. <laughs> So as you might have already seen in my last video, the Genshin community successfully took over Google Maps. But I'm so sad to report that the amazing Filipino locations are gone. But no worries, I'm sure they'll add more. You know why? Because as we all know, Filipinos are just built different. The last video was really fun, but a lot of people were commenting, saying things like, first it was Google Classroom, now it's Google Maps. But what does that mean exactly? Well, it's simple. It has to do with the first Genshin anniversary and how the Genshin community successfully disrupted the services of the Google Play Store. This is what this video is all about. The day everyone got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> So as you know, huge backlash on the first anniversary of this game, prompting even a Know Your Meme page being made about it. But not even this page can explain in detail the amount of chaos that was happening back then. There were many factors involved. I'll try my best to explain this absolute madness. The thing is, this all arises from expectations. It's the first anniversary, right? But there were more factors at play that aren't explained in many places on the internet. There was one agent of chaos. I don't know who the hell it is, okay? But they made up this rumor that for the first anniversary rewards, you were going to get a five star. Not just any five star, you were going to get Ayaka, okay? One of the most sought after Inazuma characters in the game at the time. It's not like they made up a rumor of, oh, you're going to get a standard five star character, more believable. No, they straight up said Ayaka. And that rumor for some reason spread like wildfire around the community to the point where it became truth for many people. So when the anniversary actually hit, and the only rewards were 10 intertwined fates and some Prima gems from competitions, you can understandably see why many people were disappointed. It's probably one of these low effort news channels with these ridiculously clickbaity thumbnails you see on your recommended sometimes. Like, look at this. It's stuff like this that caused this, man. What do you mean free deluxe? <laughs> That's ridiculous. So this prompted Genshin players to start complaining on Hoyo Lab and Genshin's official Discord server, having everything deleted, of course, by the moderation teams. Out of frustration, they took things into their own hands. Two main things happened. Let's start with the most creative and wholesome approach to this, which was spamming the Discord with Chi Chi stickers laying down, right? Prompting the moderators to enable slow mode. You can only post a message every 10 minutes because the spam was ridiculous. And the great thing about this is that they can't delete it because they made the sticker, right? Which is very creative. So they were kind of using Nihoyo's art against them. Creative, nice, it's like a peaceful protest. Look at this guy over here, Chi Chi Fallen with this profile picture, just spamming. But the other thing they did, <laughs> oh man, they went to Google Play. This is where Google comes in. They went to the Google Play Store. This was the Genshin Impact page. I went back in time here on the Wayback Machine. So this is the Genshin Impact Google Play Store page on September 14th, exactly two weeks before the first year anniversary. The rating is 4.5. Everything's looking great. What a beautiful page, right? Well, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that didn't last long because on the 28th of September, on the day of the anniversary, <laughs> as you can see right here, two, two. It's a two out of a look at all these one star reviews, dude. It's insane what they did in one day. That free five star Ayaka sure didn't show up, huh? <laughs>
It didn't take long for Google to clean up all the crazy one-star reviews that showed up at the same time. On the 29th, one day after, you can already see the rating went back to 3 and gradually went back up to 4. Which made the Genshin community still feel like they weren't heard. So what did they do? They attacked other MiHoYo games. So Tears of Themis, Honkai Impact 3rd, anything. Just anything under MiHoYo at the time. But it doesn't end here. This is where it gets crazy, okay? They decided, you know what? Actually, let's look at this article that sums it up pretty well. Genshin Impact players who are protesting the game's lack of first year anniversary rewards chose a brand new tactic to express their anger at developer MiHoYo. Review bombing unrelated applications, including Google Classroom, <laughs> League of Legends, Wild Rift, and other popular mobile games not developed by Milio, according to a report of Kotaku. That's right, you read that right. Google Classroom. <laughs> In fact, here's a list of all the games that were affected from this insane period of time. Some of the most popular mobile games, and then you see Google Classroom! It's so stupid, it's like... <laughs> it's just, it's my favorite, dude. FBI Open Up says, Genshin Ward sucks, Mihoyo is trash, bro, it's Google Classroom! There's a bug with Tartaglia is not naked. Please fix it. <laughs> Dude, it's Google Classroom. Leave it alone. Give it an anniversary rewards. <laughs> Dude, Genshin mid pack for Dude, leave Google Classroom alone. Genshin made me do this. Made my college life miserable. You know, okay, that's that's fair. You can give them one star. That's fair. That's fair. Where are my primary gems? Dude, leave Google Classroom alone. This wasn't even just popular apps. You would go anywhere on the store. If it was a highly rated app, you would see, like, look at this. Bank Central Asia Mobile Kitchen Rewards suck. What does that have to do with anything? McDonald's. Bad anniversary rewards. Fix your game, Miho. What does that have to do with anything? McGenshin, have you heard of it? Have some respect. No one survived this. It's like they were everyone. Just everyone got caught in the crossfire that is the first Genshin anniversary. This isn't just something Genshin players remember. This is like a worldwide event. Like, don't talk. We don't talk about the first Genshin anniversary in this household, son. Shut the f up. <laughs> You'll make your grandfather start seeing visions again. <laughs> But it doesn't end here, because hundreds of thousands of reviews kept being added to Genshin even two weeks after the anniversary. Why? Because there was a back and forth. The other apps that were getting review bombed by Genshin players all decided, let's review bomb Genshin as revenge. <laughs> so the whole thing was just this chaotic boomerang. Google was caught in the crossfire. Google Classrooms was caught in the crossfire. Everyone was just like, what the hell is happening right now? So in the end, what calmed down this entire shitstorm? Well, it's simple. 1,600 primogems and a wind glider that was meant to be paid but was given out for free. That's right. All of this, this global domination plan, this chaotic energy on a global scale that disrupted an entire play store of a trillion dollar company, all it took was just 10 pulls. Thank you, Mihoyo, thank you. Thank you for ending what probably could have been World War III. If there's anything you should learn from this, is that the Genshin community, once united, can take down the entire global ecosystem, okay? They're that dangerous. <laughs> Don't mess with them, please. Let them fight over ships. Let them fight over the stupidest things. Let them fight over two characters kissing. At the end of the day, when they're united, the whole world is at stake, okay? <laughs> please, be careful. Thank you so much for watching this warning to the world. And I'll see you next week. I love you. Mwah. Oh, and if my Twitter reaches a thousand followers before the next video, I'm revealing the next band member, okay? Get to it.